Rivers. They've also got an underclassman in Katie Ryan who can be a big difference maker. She's had double digit kills in 13 matches this year, six of those against top 25 opponents. She has really risen to the occasion when the Cougars have needed her. Lana Radakovich into the net with a service error. Grand Canyon opens it up with the first point. That's how they start their NCAA tournament history. And serve for Claire Mitchell, the Coeur d'Alene native. The Lopes send it away, a service error. And talking to both coaches before this match, they predicted maybe a few butterflies. Jen Greeny said maybe it would be a little easier for Washington State being at home. But this week she did mention it's tough playing at home hosting because it makes the week long. You don't get to travel and get away. Julia Norville serving the second serve opportunity for the Cougars. Stella Giorda with it dumped down by Argentina Ung. Something that Ung is so good at running into. She gets Washington State the second point. Ung, an outside hitter, turns setter for the Cougars from Sonora, Mexico. Serve from Norville. Over to Giorda once again. Tries a tip. Yahalashava got a piece of it. Imana Sanovich for Washington State. The graduate transfer from Arizona State University puts the Cougars up three to one. Iman's former Sun Devils, they won earlier to move on to the round of 32. A tip, getting to it, Argentina Um. Isanovic once again. It's tipped high and down, and the Cougars take a 3-1 lead, or 4-1 lead, pardon me, here in the opening points. Julia Norville starting to make camp at the service line. Cougars have scored the last three. Norville, another tough serve. Giorda once again, over the Cougar blockers. Basham has it. Isanovic dug out back by Tatum Thomas. The Cougars block it back with Yahalashava and Um. Comes over near side for Tatum Parrott and she tools it off Isanovic. First kill for Grand Canyon. A four point scoring run for the Cougars. Sends Tatum Parrott back to the service line. Sixth in the NCAA coming into this tournament in points per set with nearly five and a half. Parrott serves, it's long. And that hometown crowd making a difference early for Washington State. It was a renovation this year at Bowler Gym that put the student section behind the visiting team when they opened with serve. 5-2 Cougars in the opening set. Isanovich into the net. The Cougars do have a couple service errors here early as well. Building's changed a little bit since Tim Nolan was last year. He was the associate head coach of USC. The head coach at the time, Nick Haley. Nolan familiar with Washington State, familiar with the Pac-12. Now leading this Grand Canyon side. Isanovic out of the back row. It ended up tipping off of Alyssa Uhlenhop for the Cougar point. WSU up six to three with Carly Basham going back to serve. Cougars have connected on four of their first five swings without an error. Three of them teed up by Carly Basham. Over on Basham's serve. Boom, in the middle. Radakovich lands it for the Cougs. Radakovich, who's the transfer from San Francisco, the fifth year senior, makes it 7-3 Washington State. Basham serves again into the net. Third service error for the Cougars. That's the only thing that's been stopping Washington State here in the early going in the first is their own miscues. Grand Canyon has one kill otherwise. Stella Giorda, the UCF transfer to serve. Good serve by Giorda, took Norville to a knee. Pia Timmer, her first time getting set up. No touch and it was long. 
First attack error for Washington State. Gorda will continue to serve. The senior from Athens, Greece. Serves away to Timmer. Boom. A set for Radakovic. Radakovic has her second kill. Brings Katie Ryan back in the front row. Argentina Ung to serve. Ung, honorable mention, all Pac-12 catalyst to this number 10 hitting percentage team in the nation in Washington State. The set went over for Lifgren, blocked back by Ryan and Radakovic up for it. And it's now the Cougars by four. Radakovic skying in on that play. Really playing some good volleyball of late for the Cougars. Couple kills already and a block. First block for Washington State tonight. Boom the serve again. It's an overpass. Timmer pounds it back down to the floor. Washington State has Grand Canyon doubled up 10 to 5. Timmer checks in with her first kill. Cougars have been a 286 hitting team this year, hitting 667 here in the first. That's tipped. The kill for Ashley Lifgren. Lifgren's one of the secondary attackers for Grand Canyon. We mentioned Tatum Parrott nearly 500 kills. Lifgren now has 196. Serve for McKenzie, who goes by Mac Wise. Pia Timmer comes flying in. What a dig by Thomas, but it's an overpass. And the southpaw, Katie Ryan, terminates the point for the Cougs. They lead by five. Keeping this margin in the first with Pia Timmer going back to serve. Great dig early in the play by Tatum Thomas. Thomas already has both digs for Grand Canyon. Timmer with the serve away. Over to Parrott, and Parrott connects with her second kill tonight. Tatum Parrott, first team in the Western Athletic Conference, flying in there. And the Cougars, if they can figure out how to slow down Parrott, it'll be a tough hill to climb for Grand Canyon. So that's where we'll watch these secondary pieces for Tim Nolan's team. Serve from Bella Anderson. Katie Ryan blocked wide, so she tools those blockers. Got to Parrott and Trista Strasser, the junior from Kyle, Texas. Lana Radakovich back at the service line. Cougars back in rotation one. Radakovich, who does have 19 aces this year. Mitchell sets it out for Parrott. There's a tip. Boom covers it. Radakovich has to set Ryan. Gorda picked it out of there. Parrott off of Yahalashiva, kept up by Oon. Yahalashiva taps it to Grand Canyon. Parrott once again. Asanovic with a dig. Oon keeps it alive. Timmer from the back row. Great rally. Grand Canyon, can they end it? A tip. Yes, down by Strasser. Big time rally taken by the Lopes. And GCU not shying away here now in set number one. Strasser with her first kill. Serving Claire Mitchell. And Mitchell too long on the serve. The comparison between these teams, Grand Canyon also a great hitting team, 276 on the year. Grand Canyon's actually maybe the slightly better serving team by the numbers now. You know, everything a caveat in that Washington State has played one of the toughest schedules in America. Grand Canyon's had a tremendous season, and Mitchell couldn't get the uh, set over. It would have been a back row on Grand Canyon. 14-8 Washington State. All that to be said, though, this Cougar coaching staff talking to them this week, they know this is a tough draw in Grand Canyon. Really good team. But Julian Norville aces them up for the first service ace of the night. And we take a timeout here on the Palouse.
The Cougars out to a roaring start. Eight NCAA tournaments. Magda Yehalashev, a big part of that. Three nothing scoring run for the Cougars. Julia Norville with the serve out of the media timeout. Amana Sanovich blocks it back off of Tatum Parrott. Magda Yehalashev is in the area as well. 16-8 Cougars. With that, we put Magda on watch two away from the Pac-12 record in blocking. Chasing Marissa Hatchett of UCLA. Hatchett who played back in the late 80s, early 90s. And Isanovic makes it a five point scoring run for the Cougars. Isanovic the leader early attacking with her fifth kill just finding room out back. Norville still serving on this Cougar run. Parrott running into it. Basham got to it. Strasser was waiting on it to come down. Boom. For Yehalashava on a slide, it's tipped. And make it a six-point run for the Cougars now. Ten-point lead in set one for WSU. Annalena Ramirez, sophomore from El Paso, Texas, checks in for GCU. Cougars, 6-11 hitting percentage, just hitting at will. Timmer, a dig out of the back. Boom for Asanovich. And Asanovich, kill number six in set number one. It forces a timeout for Grand Canyon. And W. Grand Canyon needing a side out to change fortunes here. A touch though defensively, and the try for Trista Strasser was long. Just two kills for Tatum Parrott, one each for Ashley Lifgren and Trista Strasser. Grand Canyon on the wrong end of an 8 0 Wazoo scoring run for Parrott through the blockers and Parrott earns serve back for Grand Canyon. Parrott three kills on the nine attacks now with one error. Parrott who had a double-double in the WAC championship match for Grand Canyon. That was against Stephen F. Austin. That match was the highest RPI win for Grand Canyon in school history. Asanovich, it's pushed back to her side, gets another try. And this time Strasser sets it down for the Lopes. Strasser not allowing that second opportunity for Isanovich. Still a wide margin in the first set, but a good sign for Grand Canyon. Just settling in on the last couple points. Right back to Isanovich. Parrott kept it up. And under the floor, it impacted Washington State. Pass under the net for Ashley Lifgren. Came sliding under the net. 21 to 10 Cougars. A 545 hitting percentage in the set. About as rock solid as they come. Strasser in between the wickets of a couple Cougar blockers, but it was a lift. 22 10 Cougars. WSU is closing in here on set one. Tim Nolan didn't agree with the call here. Strasser talking to the GCU bench. WSU serve with Isanovich. Seven kills, ten swings. Isanovich has been a star in set one. Norville with the dig out at back on the swing from Ramirez. Pia Timmer. Another big swing in her Washington State career. Timmer third all-time in career kills at Washington State with nearly seven in on one block. As we mentioned, she is chasing the Pac-12 blocking record. Now two off from time, Marissa Hatchett played at UCLA from 1989 to 1992. And that's all-time, any error. Rally scoring, non-rally scoring. 
Strasser with the point for GCU. Still the Cougars in control in set number one. Tatum Thomas will serve away. Thomas has two of the five digs in this set. Two pretty impressive ones for Grand Canyon. Thomas serves. Boom. Over for Timmer. Timmer. Pause it to the back corner. Set point for Washington State. Great visibility on the floor for Pia Timmer to see that open spot and just able to score it with the push. Carly Basham trying to serve away the first set for WSU of 5.42. This is going to be better than that. It's be a little better than that. 5.42 before the 24th point. Basham serves for the Cougars here, trying to win the first. Tipped up high, Norville running to it. Kill for Ashley Lifgren. At 5.83, the attack percentage right now for the Cougars in the first. Outstanding, 82% side out. It was a rare one. You would have expected the way it's gone in the set for the Cougars nearly to take it on the last point. Boom. Isanovich out of the back, and she caps an outstanding opening set for WSU. Iman Isanovich leads all players with eight. But here he finds himself out in the nation's leading wheat-producing county in Whitman County, Grand Canyon, serving open set number two. The two coaches and Tim Nolan and Jen Green, who know each other very well. Their staffs know each other. It's fun to see them reconnect. Good rally to open up the second set. Timmer sprawling for it. Isanovich already with kill number nine. Picks up right where she left off in the first. And Canyon trying to find a way to get this offense going. You saw the setter Claire Mitchell with her leading attacker Tatum Parrott. Just a 120 hit percentage out of the gates for Grand Canyon. Oh, nice dump by Mitchell. Evens it at one here in the second set. Mitchell's in the top 20 nationally coming in. Assist per set, 10.67. 25 digs in the WAC championship match at 116 assists, 40 digs for that WAC tournament. Parrott serving to the Cougars. Nadia Halashova. Nails it home for WSU, 2-1 Cougars. Magda, who's in the top 15 nationally, she was number 11 coming into the tournament, 416 hitting percentage. She's connected on one of her two attacks. Isanovic into the net. All even at two here in the second. All things considered for Grand Canyon, it's a match on the road here, eight and three away from home this season. In true road games, they were seven and one in neutral contests. Pia Timmer tipped the block. In the middle, Alyssa Uhlenhoff puts Grand Canyon ahead here in the second set. Just finding room along that outside. I think there were thoughts about challenging over on the Washington State side. Tatum Thomas on the serve. Pia Timmer running with the set, but it was wide. 4-2 Grand Canyon here in the second. That brings this Grand Canyon crowd alive a little bit. Lopes and RPI of 76. They've won four consecutive matches coming into play tonight. Boom, decides to set back Timmer. And this time, Timmer delivers for the Cougars. Boom, showing the confidence in a player who it's easy to be confident in, the fifth year senior from Germany, Pia Timmer. Honorable mention All American in 2019. Mitchell bringing it over near side. Asher Lifgren pushed it across. Lana Radakovich, she was active early in set one for the Cougars. Stella Gjorda. 
Boom tried to change the pace, dumping it off. Giordo once again, tap back. Can Grand Canyon finish the rally? Lifgren does out in front of Norville. Five three lopes here in the second. Lifgren with kill number three. Long rally and a momentum rally for GCU. Gorda serving, her dad a multi-time Olympian for the Greek national team. Pia Timmer off some high hands. And Timmer's up to five kills now. Gets side out back for the Cougars. Percentage still well up there. WSU is not letting Grand Canyon string much together so far in the first set and change. Argentina Um serves away. For Lifgren once again, a tip. Ung side all the way. Timmer. Lifgren with the dig out. Um behind for Ryan. Lefty swing. Comes back over. Ryan, second try. Pogo steps up to tie it at five for the Cougars. Katie okay, Ryan's definitely a fan favorite at Washington State from nearby Raftrum, Idaho. Decided to stay close to home, the junior for the Cougars. Parrott answering out of the back row for Grand Canyon. Tatum Parrott's got a fun game. She hits it as hard as the best attackers in the country. 482 kills for her season now. At 307 last year for Grand Canyon. Led the team both seasons. Mack Wise with the serve. Oong for Radakovic. Radakovic, ooh, a nasty kill. All smiles from Stella Gjorda. But Radakovic with some nasty intentions to nod it at six. Gjorda's all right. Pia Timmer serving now. Timmer is closing in on a Washington State record, which we'll mention in a moment, as Gjorda is low on the attack. It's 7-6 Cougars. Pia Timmer is trying to get to the all-time service ace mark at Washington State. She comes in with her next ace tying Penny Tusa for first all-time at WSU. She played with Tusa a couple years back. That's 150 when Timmer gets her next. And another kill for Tatum Parrott. So Parrott starting to cook now here in the second set. Kill number five, all square at seven aside. Much better start here in the second set for Grand Canyon. They've settled in a little bit now to this program's first NCAA tournament appearance. Bella Anderson with the serve. Iman Asanovic blocked back Strasser and Mitchell. And Mitchell came marching away from it. It's something the coaching staff talked about this week for GCU. They're so impressed with a 5-7 setter in Mitchell and her ability to get up and impact things on the block. Puts GCU ahead by one in the second. Timmer out of the back. Strasser a tip. Parrott off of Timmer. It's a two-point lead for Grand Canyon. And Tatum Parrott now six kills, 13 swings, one air. That hit percentage continues to ratchet up for the sophomore out of Phoenix. Has a bright future here in collegiate volleyball. Katie Ryan, it was tapped, but the Cougars were into the net. Katie Ryan touched that net. 10-7, four-point run for Grand Canyon. Still Bella Anderson, who's been mostly used as a server defensive specialist for the Lopes. Free ball over to Grand Canyon. I think this is their first free ball opportunity, and Claire Mitchell dumps it with her left hand. Puts GCU up by four. And Jen Greeny will take a timeout here in set number. 
Now the Lopes hitting 243. Bella Anderson getting comfortable at the service line. Boom for Ryan, and Ryan tools the block, puts an end to the run, and gets WSU point back immediately. Going back to that play for Mitchell, the wax setter of the year. Mitchell's third time winning that award. Katie Ryan, just honorable mention all Pac-12 this last week. Played on the 2022 U.S. Collegiate College, uh, Collegiate National Team. Parrott tips off Yehoshiva. And Parrott up to seven kills. What a difference, 450 hitting set here for Grand Canyon in the second. Now 243 for the match. Lopes got the side out. Serve from Mitchell. Boom up for Yahalashiva. And wide. And Washington State, it was almost no attack errors in the first set. The Cougars just suffered their fourth. Seven kills, four errors, 19 swings for a 158 hitting percentage in the second. Mitchell, another tough serve. Boom. Had to crouch down for it and finds Katie Ryan for the WSU side out. Julia Norville will return to serve for the Cougars. Norville, who was the 14th player in WSU history to reach 1,000 digs earlier this season. She's fourth all time in aces at WSU. Came in with 136. She has one tonight for 137. And Yahalashiva never saw it coming back from Norville. Big smile from Stella Giorda for her teammate Trista Strasser. Punctuating that last point. Grand Canyon really taking control right now in the second. Keeping this five point lead, but a service error for Tatum Parrott. Lopes, the aggressor in set number two after WSU dominated the first set 25 to 12. Over for Lifgren. Isanovich there. Timmer and out in front of Anderson for the Cougar point. These swings come in with some major velocity. Pia Timmer loves that cross floor shot. Isanovich now with the Cougars down three. Mitchell, another turn. Isanovich went and saw it. Timmer, this time trying to go line, was looking more like a tip. Gorda, free ball. Timmer once again, another tip. Covered by Mitchell. Anderson for Lifgren, touch back. Tough adjustment for Giorda. Oon covers, great rally. Can Pia Timmer end it? Tip back block, Grand Canyon. They've won some big ones here in this second set. And Strasser once again there with Giorda. And the Lopes, a 15-11 lead in set two. Grand Canyon came in 2.7 blocks per set. Very strong blocking outfit. For Magda Yehalashiva on the slide. Here's turning to Magda, the moment where they needed her. She rotates out. Carly Basham serving. Yehalashiva, one block on the day, two off. Tying the all-time record in the Pac-12 conference, which at least in its current state will be no more after this year. Anderson off of Timmer. And Timmer frustrated that she wasn't able to come up with it. Back to a four-point lead for Grand Canyon. Gorda in the Lopes, very comfortable here in this set. Still in 429. That was Ashley Lifgren on the last kill. Pardon me. Argentina Oom trying to get into a joust and shoved back by Alyssa Uhlenhop. Uhlenhop who came in with eight blocks 
in a single match as her season best. 101 blocks on the season, 137 for her career. Got in and blocked Argentina um, from that opportunity. Basham, wow. That's a heck of a pass to Timmer. And Timmer took some pace off of it and it surprised Tatum Thomas. That was a long range connection on the pass from Carly Basham to Pia Timmer. This is where Grand Canyon's excelled here in the second set, though, is limiting the Cougars from putting anything together. And Mitchell to Lifgren. Udakovic keeps it up. Timmer has been the go-to in set number two. On the over, it's blocked back. Timmer punches it. Grand Canyon can't believe there wasn't a lift. Second opportunity, though, put away by Alyssa Uhlenhop. And once again, the Lopes don't let the Cougars put a couple points together. And Jen Green is asking for a second timeout here in the second set. Grand Canyon inspired performance in set number two. 2-25-11, 25 12 Grand Canyon against UC Irvine. They also came away with a sweep. So a lot of, not a lot of commonality, but in the ones that are common, it shows that these two teams could be tightly matched. Pia Timmer with a dugout back by Mac Wise. Tatum Parrott wanted to go soft. Ung was there. Basham forced to the set. Timmer. The beneficiary of a net violation on Grand Canyon. It's going to be challenged by Tim Nolan. He didn't think so for Alyssa Uhlenhop. I think that's a player we'll be looking at here in this review. Right now with that point playing 18-14 Grand Canyon. And the net was shaking there. And the officials have multiple looks from the net. They have a closer side net and I think this is a pretty quick review. It looks like they may have already seen the right forearm of Alyssa Uhlenhop into the net. And so that does make it a net violation on Uhlenhop. Just brush that right forearm. So now the Cougars within four. Well, let's see what Grand Canyon can do here. This has been their bread and butter in the set. As you get one last look at it, you could see the net at the end just starting to bounce and flex. But Grand Canyon, they've been really good right now at just getting served back. Making it one and done. Tatum Parrott can do just that. She got the Washington State block. No, did not get the Washington State block. I thought there was a tip up front. Being close to it, it almost sounded like a deflection. But just over the top of Ryan and Radakovich. Cougars within three. And a long on the serve for Pia Timmer. That could have been the serve to get her to number 150 and tie Penny Tusa and aces just a little too long. Grand Canyon can feel an opportunity here to close in on set number two. Bella Anderson, a freshman from Scottsdale. An important moment of this match. Katie Ryan blocked back by Tatum Parrott. Grand Canyon has the Cougars by five here in the second. Responding after a dominant 25-12 opening set for WSU. Great numbers here in the second for GCU, including four of their five blocks. Service error though for Bella Anderson turns it back to Washington State. Meanwhile, Grand Canyon's been able to take away Iman Isanovich. Eight kills in the first set, only one in the second. Lana Radakovic serves. Tatum Parrott, it's been big in set two. Pia Timmer had the dig. Isanovic trying to get back to it, does with a tooling of the Grand Canyon block. 
And it all starts with their first trip to the tournament here tonight. Mitchell for Parent, blocked down by Yehalashiva. Second block for Yehalashiva. Gets the Cougars within two. It puts her one off, tying the all time Pac 12 blocking record. Three point scoring run for the Cougars. She'd tell you that's more important right now. It's set number two. Up for Strasser. Quick pop up and Strasser sign out for Grand Canyon. Back to a three point lead. Lopes, four points from set number two. Claire Mitchell out to the service line. Mitchell Lake City High School, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. It's just over an hour north of Pullman. Ung for Yahalashiva in the middle. Yahalashiva puts the Cougars back within two. She did block now with a swing. Julia Norville to serve. Norville, a great serve at that, an ace. Norville has two, both Cougar aces. She's chasing on the heels of Pia Timmer. Still a little ways to go in that race, but 138 career aces now, 11 behind Timmer. Has the Cougars within one. The Sacramento, California product continues. Mitchell, Gjorda having to punch it, and Yehalashiva with that ties the all-time record in the Pac-12 for blocks. For Yehalashiva, that is number 750. She might set it tonight. The Cougars trying to come back and set number two. Gjorda with Norville springing out for it. Isanovich, this comes back over. Timmer, it was too close for her not to play it. Back set, Parrott. Underneath the Cougar blockers, Grand Canyon back in front, 22-21. Now it'll be Tatum Parrott to serve. Parrott just put the lopes ahead. Basham, another long pass, ends up a free ball. This is for Lifgren. Timmer plays it out of the back. Ung, back set. Yahalashiva, close at the net. Strasser to the corner. Almost got it there. Well, now it's turned into a race here at set number two. Grand Canyon, such a good second set. It would be a major deflating feeling if they can't wrap it up here in the second. Lifgren with Basham getting to it. Timmer blocked back. Strasser leads the charge with Stella Gjorda. Fifth block of the set for Grand Canyon. They're back in front, 23-22. Tatum Thomas serving. Basham overpass. Back down by Alyssa Uhlenhop. Grand Canyon has set point here in the second. We saw some close sets in the first matchup in Pullman between Pepperdine and Dayton. This one as good as those. Boong had it pushed back. Timmer having to adjust, and she fights off a set point for the Cougars. Timmer's ninth kill. Grand Canyon has another opportunity to win the second set. Serve for Washington State is with Carly Basham, their libero. Grand Canyon trying to even things at a set apiece. Short serve, Basham nearly dumped it in there. Lifgren, tip back, Radakovich and Ung. Lifgren once again, Ung tipped it high, Basham got to it, Ung, a set for Timmer. Timmer ties it at 24. 
WSU fends off two set points in the second set. We'll go past 25 here in the second set. Argentina Ung before the set, she was in up at the front of the net for the Cougars, tipping two blocks. Basham another short serve. Mitchell elects to go back for Gjorda. Isanovich is under it. Pia Timmer, the hot hand in set two, puts the Cougars ahead and gives Washington State set point. Grand Canyon, a fantastic start to the second set. But Washington State taking control late in set two. Can the Lopes fire back and fend off a set point? The Cougars did it twice. Carly Basham serving short once again. Mitchell to Lifgren. Norville's on it. The Cougars have a chance to win the second. It goes to Pia Timmer once again. Underneath it, Thomas up in the rafters. Grand Canyon keeps an eye on it. Lifgren too long asking for a touch. And a touch was called down here at the floor. Touch called at the floor, 25-25. No challenge from Jen Greeny. Lana Radakovich was there. It did look like her hand brushed back. 25-25 here in the second set. We'll get that score reset for you. For a moment, the officials had indicated that it was Washington State set. Gorda on the serve. Oom for Timmer. Timmer with Norville seeing it underneath. Isanovich out of the back row. Now Grand Canyon will have to fight off another set point. They did it just a moment ago, but there's big M.O. in this building for Washington State right now. Some momentum for the Cougars. Argentina Oong with the serve. We're into extra points in the second set. Mitchell on a slide and answer for Alyssa Ulenhop and Grand Canyon. 26 all now in the second. Great volleyball here tonight in Bowler Gym. This second set has been a gem between the Cougars and the Lopes. Tim Nolan checking the server before offering in Mac Wise to serve. So important in these spots not to get a rotation error. He had the right server picked out. It was in the spot of Ashley Lifgren. So Mac Wise serves now here in the second. It's an overpass. Parrott dumps it down. Grand Canyon has its third set point now in the second. Tim Nolan yelling out to his side, let's go, as the Lopes take a 27-26 lead. Big opportunity to even it at a set apiece. Wise serves once again into the net. Tied at 27. Grand Canyon, there's fans literally biting nails across the way. Knowing how important getting this back even at a set of pieces. 27-27 and Timmers into the net. Grand Canyon will have its fourth set point opportunity. Another serving substitution, Bella Anderson for the Lopes. Trying to win their first set ever in the NCAA tournament. Trying to do it against a top 10 team in America. Anderson on the serve. Oong for Ryan. And Ryan got a touch. We continue. We may never get past the second set tonight in Pullman. Lana Radakovic will serve next. Got to win by two. Parrott sprawling to it, Radakovic. That's a big time dig. Imani Sanovic just loses her mind after putting the Cougars up 29 28. This gym is into it. 
If you watch the selection show for this NCAA tournament, they told you crowds, there have been record crowds this year across college volleyball. No truer than in Pullman, Washington, where they have been loving these Cougs this year. Radakovich serving now. Mitchell for Parrott. Parrott, a tip. Yeah, Halashova a dig. Isanovich, Thomas got to it. Mitchell for Parrott. Parrott an answer. 29 all in the second set. Neither team blinking. Alternating set points. And they just keep fending them off. Grand Canyon a chance to go ahead. Mitchell, Timmer receives it with the hands. Yehalashova, tipped back by Strasser. And Isanovic, off blocker's hands. Isanovic has gotten hot again, was stuck at nine kills for a while. She's now got 13. 30 to 29 Cougars. But we can only hope the rest of this match continues to be as tightly contested as this. This has been fun. Julia Norville serving. Parrott couldn't get enough behind it. Isanovich, Thomas gets under another one. It's a free ball coming to Washington State. Thomas has been so important defensively. Back on a slide for Yehalashova, and she puts away set number two for the Cougars. No shortage of drama tonight. Looks hit 283 in the second. They actually out hit the Cougars who were at 280. But WSU, maybe that senior experience enough to carry him to the finish line. We saw Pia Timmer relied upon heavily down the stretch in that second set, not letting it go for the Cougars. Still, there's a lot that Tim Nolan can point out to his team as a positive out of set number two. And we can only hope that set three is as entertaining as the one we just saw. So glad to be with you in Pullman tonight. ESPN Plus coverage of the 2023 NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament beyond the ESPN family of networks throughout the tournament. And how about this year, the national championship game on ABC front and center on the national stage. These teams playing tonight for a chance to meet fifth seeded Dayton tomorrow. Dayton coming off a five set emotional victory against Pepperdine just a little over an hour and a half ago. Lana Radakovic open serving for the Cougars in set three. Magda Yehalashova got a hand to it, but it's Annalena Ramirez tooling the block. Lopes get the first point of set three. Tatum Parrott back to serve. Parrott has 10 kills, 24 swings, hitting 292. A block and two digs. Greenway High School out of Phoenix, Arizona. Katie Ryan answers with a point for the Cougars. Ryan, who Jen Greeny's told me in the past, a player that the Cougars were able to kind of sneak onto their roster a little bit. She was a hidden gem in not widely known Rathrum, Idaho. And the Cougars were happy to find her and bring her to Pullman. She's been a great addition to WSU's team. Strauser able to just roll it over the net. Isanovich tried to miss the blockers, missed the floor as well. Grand Canyon 2-1 lead now in the third. Tatum Thomas was awesome defensively late in that second set. She had some big time digs with Grand Canyon fending off multiple set points. Thomas to Norville. Boom for Yehalashova. She tools the blockers. 2-2. Yehalashova now six kills on ten swings, one air. Puts her 500 hitting. Three blocks, as we mentioned, now tied with Marissa Hatchett for the all-time Pac-12 lead. Nearly an over. Mitchell stayed with it. Pushed to the back corner. And it was a back row attack on Grand Canyon. 
Tim Nolan nods his head. 3-2 Washington State. WSU we mentioned trying to claim another first round victory under Jen Greeny. It would be her sixth. Tim Nolan bringing this Grand Canyon team to the NCAA tournament for the first time. They're a relatively young team. Lifgren to the back out in front of Norville. Lifgren's a player who has an option to come back next year. As does Ava Mason, Stella Giorda. Obviously though, Claire Mitchell, the setter, will be a, a piece that Grand Canyon will miss, but they've got some good ones coming up the pipeline as well. Pia Timmer off Parrott in the back. And Pia Timmer is now up to 12 kills. One behind Iman Isanovich. The Cougars have a mixture of eight players who came to Pullman in the international route. Eight players from the continental United States. Carly Basham serves for the Cougs. A joust. Radakovic pushes back the smaller Mitchell. Lifgren out back. Basham got in front of Norville for Radakovic. Point Cougars. Now Radakovic now an efficient four of five. Five three Cougs in the third. Basham serves. Lifgren with it tipped up front. Oom decides to pop up and swing. And Argentina Oom. That's a great option in her toolbox. Served as a setter for Washington, or as an outside hitter for Washington State, as an all-conference setter. And plays really open up when she can do that. Nine matches with five or more kills this year. And they're eight and one, the Cougs, in those nine matches when Oon is that productive. Lifgren with it tipped up front. That'll find room out back. Put an end to a three-point scoring run for the Cougars. Stella Giorda did play in the NCAA tournament back when it was in the spring in 2021. It was against High Point. COVID year, very different NCAA tournament than the lively, raucous crowd we've seen tonight in Bowler Gym. Pia Timmer. Tried to go cross four. Nice job by Parrott. Parrott gets it right on back. Basham comes in to cover. Timmer, this time trying to go line and got a touch. Just like that, Timmer's tied for the match lead and kills with Iman Asanovich. 13 kills each. We're talking about the matches for Oom, um, who's serving here with the five plus kills, maybe most notable five kills against Texas, seven digs, eight blocks. Eight blocks, that was her career best. Cross floor shot for Tatum Parrott. Grand Canyon with side out. Back to Bella Anderson. True freshman who was an All-American nominee in the high school ranks by the AVCA. Boom runs it down. Katie Ryan with Parrott getting underneath it. And there's a net violation. Straws or her right shoulder bumped the net. She was trying to pass to Tatum Parrott. 8-5 Cougars now. Straws just got a little pushed into the net. It started the Iman Isanovich show. Now Pia Timmer, the short serve. Strasser on the receive. Over to Parrott, there's a tip. Oom um plays it. Basham over for Ryan. Ryan blocked back. Parrott led the charge. Parrott's been in on two blocks now. 11 kills, 26 swings, hitting 308, four digs. Strasser up there as well. That's the fourth strasser has been involved in. 7-4 blocking advantage for Grand Canyon tonight. 
Engine, they're a great blocking team. We knew that coming in. They're 0.2 blocks per set more than Washington State. Over towards their own fans, Parrott nearly up the steps. Katie Ryan, big dig, Mac Wise. Parrott once again, through the Cougar blockers. Tatum Parrott has 12 kills. Parrott coming off a career high 30 in that WAC championship match. Has led the team in kills each of these last two seasons, her first two years with Grand Canyon. The sophomore is tremendous. Strasser muscling it through the Cougar block. And Grand Canyon fights back to even at eight here in set number three. Set one was a runaway, 25-12 Washington State. Set two was a nail biter, 31-29 Washington State. And one of the better sets you'll see in college volleyball in terms of intrigue. Long play for Ung. Isanovich blocked down by Strasser. That's her fifth. And Grand Canyon takes the lead on a four point scoring run. Jen Greeny asking for a substitution, and she will offer Logan Golden defensively. Golden's first appearance tonight 12 digs for the senior out of Castle Rock, Washington. Had a pair of service aces in the Cougars' road win at Oregon, one of their best RPI wins of the year. Boom for Ryan. Ryan down in front of Claire Mitchell. Katie Ryan now up to eight kills. And when Ryan gets into double figures and kills, she means good things for the Cougars. Mentioned 13 double digit kill matches and she's helped WSU to six top 25 wins in matches in which she's gone for double figures and kills. She rises up in the big moment. Mitchell for Annalena Ramirez, but too wide. Now WSU back in front at 10 to nine. Another back and forth set. Radakovich will serve. It's an overpass. Isanovich, it was punched. It was over the plane to the Cougar side of the net. And Mitchell had a hand in on it. 11-9 Cougars. Now WSU has rattled off a few consecutive points. After Grand Canyon took a lead at 9 to 8, nearly another over. Mitchell for Strasser. Yahalashava got a piece of it. Isanovich out back. Wise had the dig. Over for Ramirez, and Ramirez gets a touch. The Cougars are saying no. Let's see if Jen Greeny challenges it. And Katie Ryan came away with a wry smile saying, Yes, I did touch it. Yeah, Halashiva did not, but Ryan said she did. Ramirez, that was her second kill of the night. Isanovich, man, that's a heavy hand. Free ball to Washington State. Yeah, Halashiva. It's like she just hangs in the air. Defies the laws of physics to put the Cougars up too. Already in this quarter, USC advanced earlier today. They're one of the first matches of the day. Pac-12 saw Arizona State get a win as well. Grand Canyon comes back, answers with a side out. Ashley Lifgren. Oregon won last night in straight sets over Southeastern Louisiana. Stanford's playing in there as well. We'll check in on their score momentarily. Manasanovic. Over Ramirez, saw an opportunity out back. Golden plays it. Boom, denied. 
trying to dump it, but right there waiting for it was Ashley Lifgren. Stanford a winner in straight sets over Fresno State. And then we told you about Arizona State. So the Pac-12 is still perfect here in the NCAA tournament so far. And WSU leading two sets to none. For Isanovich. Ilana Isanovich back in with a kill. That's number 14. She gets ahead of Pia Timmer by one. 14 kills to Timmer's 13. Melissa Uhlenhop, four kills, five swings. You saw her there. She had a bunch of big moments in that crazy second set. Isanovic thought it was an ace. The officials say it's out. Jen Greeny was raising her hand like she might challenge. But she saw it. The official up top shot, excuse me, he called the ace. Otherwise, the Cougars were going to challenge. Isanovich gets the ace. And Yel Halasheva tooled by Alyssa Uhlenhop. Very close set number three. That's what we wanted. It was close and set number two went all the way to 31-29. The first team to 15 will take us to a timeout and it will on a service error for Grand Canyon. We'll break here in Pullman set number three. Washington State trying to sweep in round one of the NCAA tournament. Grand Seven Pacific tomorrow night. You play them in back-to-back -back nights. Basham. Light serve in. Mitchell tried to dump the set and got rejected by the tape. Three-point lead for the Cougars now. Basham really been going with that short serve. And the Cougars block it away. Radakovich and Um. Tim Nolan will take a timeout. First it was the net with a block. Then it was Argentina Ung and Lana Radakovic with a block for the Cougars. Three point scoring run for Washington State. Fifth block of the match for WSU. Grand Canyon has nine. Lopes, what this gym was like, what that team had worked for. She said that team, it was almost more of a, it's kind of more of a surprise, right, to be hosting. This Washington State team this year, they had, they had this circle this date on the 1st of December is the day that they plan to be in Pullman. And it came close down the wire in the season, but the Cougars did it. Pia Timmer on the overpass, able to connect easily for her 14th kill, and it's a five-point lead for Washington State. The Cougars starting to sense the third set. Basham drops another short serve in. Norville and Basham got there. Ung on the recovery. Wow. Julia Norville making the play defensively. Argentina Ung with kill number three. You love a setter that can turn into a hitter. Six-point Cougar lead now in the third. And that's off Timmer. Alyssa Uhlenhop with kill number six. Mac Wise back for GCU to serve. Wise, a couple years back, was freshman of the year in the WAC. Argentina Un, the center for Washington State, working into this one for P. The NCAA tournament. Lana Radakovic serving. Radakovic too long. Grand Canyon now back by six, and they need the big run, as we said. 
Tatum Parrott will serve. If the next Cougar point comes soon, it sets up match point. Parrott serves, Timmer on the receive. Boom for Isanovich, off of Strasser, and it's match point coming for the Cougars. Iman Isanovich, 16 kills tonight. And Jen Greeny is gonna make some subs. She has a sub coming in Veronica Bodulia, redshirt senior from Poland, who will come in on this final, well, what Washington State hopes is a final point. Julia Norville serving. Norville a couple aces. Yahalashova pushes it back. In the middle, it's Strasser too wide, and Washington State at home.